Albert, what has been, what has the Science Park been doing, particularly since you became CEO five years ago? Well, first of all, I, I wouldn't say that it's because of me, but uh, Science Park has been around 19 years. Um, at different stages, we have done different things. But in the past five years, um, the number of companies have grown a lot. Um, today, we have about 1,000 companies. When I joined five years ago, we have about 500. Um, today, we have about 16,000 working population. Of that, about 10,000 of them are research and development. Um, so number of companies, number of people have grown a lot. At the same time, uh, incubation startup, um, we now have about 500 companies in the incubation program. Um, the other big things that we have done in the past five years is really in the investment area. We have attracted a lot of venture capitalists. Um, we have done some work uh, before my time, but um, I really think that in the past three years, we have done a lot of work in attracting investors to um, look around, to uh, work with our startups. Um, in the past three years, altogether, fundraised for the park companies in the Science Park is in the range of 29.7 billion Hong Kong dollars, 29.3 billion, so close to 30 billion dollars, Hong Kong dollars. So in many areas, in supporting startups, SME investment, we have done a lot of work in the past few years. Yes, I was one of your startup. I worked here for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, what are your plans in the immediate future? Um, the number of things happening, um, we want to really make that, this ecosystem a complete one, including investors, um, industrialists, meaning big companies, um, uh, startups. Um, so we want to complete the ecosystem, including also communal facilities, we're building uh, more biomedical, electronic, AI, robotic laboratories so that small companies can come in without paying for the expensive equipment. They can share the equipment. So communal facilities, um, investments, startup, big companies. But a very big, big thing that we need to do in the next few years is really in the, in the areas of talents. Mm. Um, we, have been, um, we have received a lot of funding from government. And we're doing a lot of programs in building labs and uh, investors and helping companies. But I think it's about time to really make Hong Kong the place for talents, including local groom talents, but also attracting talents from all over the world. Well, that's good news for our local talents. Yeah. <laughs> Any comments for our overseas audience who might be thinking of setting up R&D or manufacturing uh, facilities in Hong Kong? Um, Hong Kong has always been the place that connects the East and the West, always. Mm. Um, Hong Kong itself is not a big market. Hong Kong itself is only 7.5 million population. But if you look at um, everything that is around us, including the Greater Bay Area, which is a 72 million population. Um, if you come to Hong Kong, you're living in an area which is very close to the Western world, but you are next door to 72 million population, which is the Greater Bay Area. And then you have easy access to the um, uh, Southeast Asia Belt and Road market, which is hundreds of millions of population. And besides, in terms of um, research and development, in Hong Kong, we have four universities that are ranked top 50 in the world, five that are top 100. So we have a very strong base for research, development, and talents. Um, although Hong Kong itself is not a big area, we, have, we are the access, the entry, and the exit of the big markets. Um, 72 million population in Greater Bay Area, but also the 1.4 billion in China. Mm. Yeah. Well, why should they consider Hong Kong, uh, particular if uh, the European companies who might be interested in the China market uh, in, and in working with Hong Kong protection of IP and so on? I, I think if, if you are doing a, let's say, I keep saying that I um, a business model innovation, for example, you're doing a um, Uber or some kind of sharing economy. You can go to Shanghai, Shenzhen, Hangzhou right away. You don't need to come to Hong Kong because Hong Kong market is so small. But if you're doing a deep tech such as biomedical, green tech, AI, robotics, electronic, that requires technology development, deep tech, um, intellectual property protection, and uh, rule of law, Hong Kong is a place to be. Um, there are a lot of support from the government, from the universities, from the institutions that you can 
extend your research and development while looking at the uh, great market in the Greater Bay Area in China, in Southeast Asia. This is the conduit to the big markets, but a good place for developing your technology. Okay, thank you, uh, Albert. Well, we really look forward perhaps uh, your longer stewardship of uh, Science Park for the next few years. I, thank you. I, I, I hope so. <laughs>